Okay, I came up and it's like, I thought we had a boat before, but we've definitely got a boat now. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. And we can't wait to call the ocean our home. But for that, we still need to finish bringing our wrecked schooner back to life. Luckily, we found an amazing team of Brazilian shipwrights who have been working their magic throughout its rebuild using simple tools, ancient knowledge, and a lot of passion. Join us on this thrilling journey and wish, wish us luck! Wish us luck! <laughs> <laughs> here for the bow you know this is still a bit low of course it's going to grow a bit higher we still are going to add a uh, gunwale gunwale gun gunwale <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce it and every time we pronounce it people try to teach us and we still don't know so we're gonna add one here of about 10 centimeters thick plus another uh, plank that'll be like this to give it a little more of a height it's exactly the design that yaba had before the only change is from here backwards that we are kind of dividing the bulwark into a shut one and an open one. So now they're about to install the plank that will be the top of the shut one and the base of the open one. I hope that makes sense and let's see how that goes. After coking every single column around, now it's finally time to install those planks. port side and this plank will be installed very soon here because they're almost finishing starboard but I want to show here these little holes these little gaps that were made all over the planks that is to fit exactly here around these columns around this bit so it's really going to sit nicely and of course gonna be nailed after but with that gap it's really going to be really attached to it so I like it a lot
about to bring that plank down and I knew exactly where it was and how they would do it. So I was here down trying to find the perfect angle to film it that it was the nicest sunlight and the nice everything. I found the angle. I was waiting for the right moment. I was there pointing with the camera. I loved how the image was looking. And when I checked, I was not filming. And I cannot ask them to repeat the same scene because that's not how it goes here. They just do their thing and we have to be lucky enough to get the moment or just be sad about it because I missed it and this is one of the times that I missed it even though I was standing there I just didn't press the button anyway this was not just to complain it was to let you know that here they do their work if we're here if we're not if we're filming if we're not they just do their work they never wait for us to film or they never repeat something because we missed it of course not that's just how it goes it's a bit wild <laughs> You can see here that our gunwale goes down and then up again and the same thing obviously happens on the other side so we need four of those little diagonal pieces right down up and the other side four of those
Good boy. Climbing up the ladder by yourself. So yesterday, just before leaving, I managed to spend some time to have a look around on this boat. And today is actually my first day here because MP's over with the mechanic working on the engine. So before I get started, I'm just gonna soak in and have a look at everything that's been done in the last two weeks while I was away in Belgium, sorting out some admin things that couldn't be done through email or telephone or many other reasons. So I had to fly back and see family. So all this stuff that's been done is amazing. And I think it's really cool so far what I've seen. Columns to hold up the uh, bulwark are in place, and of course, the bulwark's already there except for where the engine has to go in. All that was missing, or all that is missing, is for them to be fastened onto the shear plank, which is going to happen now with these. So, they are actually really fastened, as from the inside, they're quite st stuck and tight, and with the bulwark on it, will not move anymore. But they're just going to peg or nail one of these in, and each one onto the nine centimeter thick shear plank anyway just to be sure
I haven't been here yet. I only came up because the dog wanted to come up, but it's the first time I've seen it with the bulwark. Those cabezas cut short, that second tabica on, and the forward one, and the top of the windows. Oh, I feel like it's a boat already. Look, I already can't fall overboard. And this? That's also new. Sika flex in between, good. Judging all the work here, not that I can do it better. <laughs> this, that's today. Yeah. Better than today. What's this for? For this. Um, here, did you notice this what? detail? What? So nice, right? That is amazing. I'm impressed. Let's go to the bow. I like my boat. <laughs> We'll have it a bit high with the tornos, like this, right? Yeah. As tall as these, but then. Yeah. About knee height, but we can always put the stainless steel cables. Exactly. I'm happy with it. Hi, I feel you. like we can go sailing now. Okay. The engine's still not fixed, but we, who needs an engine to sail, right? So this place is going to be open from there to there. And this is where we're going to have plank. I can extend where MP will walk off when she's not behaving. What? So walk the plank. This is where it's gonna go. <laughs> Hello.